What I want to see tomorrow is the House of Commons voting this deal down. But then the question is what happens next? This is a Prime Minister that needs to be taken out of office. So the best thing for the opposition to do is to move a motion of no confidence. Let's put this back to the people through a general election. That is the logical thing to do. But Ian, you know full well that the Conservatives, compared with the Labour Party at the moment, are the most likely government to potentially form a government if there were a general election. That could play into Mr Johnson's hands, couldn't it? I think all opposition parties have got to take their responsibilities. You know, there are 59 parliamentary seats in Scotland. The SNP have 35 of them. There are 13 Conservatives. I want to take the battle to those Conservative MPs in Scotland and that will be a straight fight between us and them and our desire to stay in the European Union. We are a European country and the choice the people of Scotland are going to face yeah. is that if you really want to guarantee your future within the European Union, I think it's becoming even more clearer well, that that has to come through independence. So this election campaign will be about whose right is it to choose our future. I was going to say, Jackson Carlaw has said you're a one-trick pony. He said you're a one-horse pony. It's all about independence. Is that your voting intentions just about independence no at the end of the day we have devolution in scotland we've been in government for 12 years and it's you know it's about uh, to hear jackson carlo talking about a one-trick pony it's a government that's delivering for the people of scotland over a whole range of policy areas it's about completing that job to independence why because we need to protect the economic interests of the people of scotland this is about jobs and brexit any formulation of brexit is going to cost jobs and make us poorer the Conservatives have got to accept that the people of Scotland voted overwhelmingly to remain. Are they going to drag Scotland out of the European Union against our will, take us out of the single market and the customs union and put people on the dole? For what for? For the ideology of the Brexit fanboys, including Jackson Carlaw, that wants to destroy Ian, Scotland's economic prosperity. I've got 20 seconds left. What's your feeling about how it's going to go tomorrow? Well, my appeal to parliamentarians tomorrow is this is a bad deal. Let's vote it down. Let's move on. Let's get the extension. Let's have the election. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.